and it's great that you took time with me post fashion show here in New York City after the spring collection, which was pretty spectacular. It had a real emotional point of view to it, knowing all the work that you do in Haiti and how passionate you are about the Haitian people. To see how you were able to translate that into a fashion collection with the power that it had today. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's a project that I've been working on for over a year and a half. When the Haiti earthquake happened, the call to action was needed. So when I went down, it was about delivering homes. But the minute I went down, I realized there was something far more than homes. It was the creativity of the people. I had never really been to a country that was that creative. The artisans were extraordinary. You know, every town was a different art. There were hornisons, there were tobacco leaves, there were paper mache. I love how you were able to consciously and actually subconsciously weave that message and thread it through the entire collection. Many people came today and saw beautiful dresses, great little sexy short dresses, gowns that are just showstoppers that will end up on the red carpet. But the collection made you think because you're a thinking woman. And I think that it is really lovely how you were able to consciously and subconsciously deliver your message through your craft so you can celebrate the craft of those people. Well, it, was, it was really brilliant. I am so happy that I'm able to do that. You're, you're, you know, we're, we're very it's, fortunate. It's, it's very different that a lot of designers, you know, design, but for me, unless it is has purpose, it really isn't worth it. And seeing women today, you know, as a woman, for a woman, I go in front of that mirror every single day and I know what it's like, you know. You want to look thin, you want to look sexy, you want to look, you know, that you've been at the gym, whatever you've been at. And I Some have, of those dresses, I you have to have a gym body. No, you don't, and that's the beauty of it. The body was important, whether you wear it short and body, the fabric holds you in. All the fabrics, you know, and designs really, iconically embrace the body. Well, let me tell you, this and, and some that's, sexy what, that's what I think but is I so great because it really does hold in the body. What are your top looks? That I have you would to, like say, to I, say, I love the draping in that jersey with that persimmon color back to orange, those two colors. Of course, that citrus green was kind of fantastic too. Ooh. And there's a couple amazing gowns because you know that our girls love a great gown because every night is red carpet night with our customers. So Evening is drop dead, those one of a kind dresses. Accent the positive, delete the negative, wrapping around the body, explosion at the bottom, graphic, strong and important. Uh, you know, they're artisan pieces. Each individual creating that woman to feel for artistry, whether they're in solid colors and draping or in prints or gathered, you know, graphicizing the colors together of black, brown and white and architecture. <laughs> You've empowered women and given them confidence in how they dress. Now you're empowering a nation of people and giving them confidence with their, their, their skills and their, their artistry. I mean, it's really kind of an amazing, an amazing journey, as you would say, how you build and instill confidence in women, and now you're doing it for nations. I mean, you're pretty remarkable. Thank you. If I couldn't do that, I don't think I'd design. You know, I, I just don't think about designing. I hope that I inspire other people to, you know, see design as just not a business, but as somebody's heart and soul.